every enthusiast wants to go fast. It's a side effect of being a petrol head. And the easiest way to do that is drop your 2-3 crores, buy a Huracan, Gallardo, whatever it may be. But not everybody is that lucky. And I want to dig deeper into that today. This beside me is a Lora 1.8 TSI. It's a mid-size executive sedan that was sold in India to mid-size executive people. Now, as the Lora sits and whistles, at 160 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. You'll think, yeah, that's enough for me and I don't need any more. But do I have a surprise for you? This here is also a lot of 1.8 PSI. And yes, it looks very nice with its charcoal grey wrap and neon wheels. But what should excite you as a car nut or a car enthusiast is this right here. It's got APR badging. And if you know what APR does, let's find out. Quite an engine bay, isn't it? Now, this car is currently sitting on a stage 2 plus setup, but the clutch is a stage 3 plus setup, which can take almost 400 horsepower. This engine currently puts out 280 plus. It hasn't been dynoed yet, but I feel it does put out 300. Apart from that, let me get into the mods of this car. It's got a pipe across air filter. It's got the headers done from APR and the rest is by Magnaflow. And it's even got the intake by APR, the carbon one. And it's no joke. This build is no joke at all. It's got KW suspension and everything in this car is done so perfectly that it's the nicest thing on the street to drive. Now here's where things get really interesting. This engine is running spark plugs and igniter coils from the Audi R8. And before you go off in the comments saying, oh, how is that even possible? You have to remember, Foxwagon is the parent company to both these companies. Apart from that, I would like to point out that this car is not even at its full potential yet. I'm sure it can do an easy 400 bhp if given in the right hands and the right mods. I'm already doing 120 and I didn't even feel it so what you have to remember is that the cars that are built they're built to one person's specification but they're always so much fun to drive the interior is also done up it's got uh, carbon inlays everywhere but it's just it's just so much fun to drive and it grips like a beast the other thing i like to talk about is the kw suspension it's really what you need on these roads it's stiff it's compliant and you can take corners at such high speeds that you sometimes you forget that you are in india and you have to watch out for potholes there is no there is no comparison that i can make and that one point tsi motor just loves loves to rev the turbo kicks in and it's just a completely different space you forget about your worries you forget what you were thinking about five minutes ago and that exhaust note it's just done so beautifully the api headers the magna flow it's i i'm speechless and i would love to own this car personally and i don't say that about every car but this this is something special
in conclusion i would like to say that if you want to go fast and dominate the streets even the drag races build something build something nice like this yes it's a lot of blood sweat and tears yes it's a lot of money but at the end of the day you can tell people that is built not bought thank you for watching our video share like and subscribe tell us what you think about this car this is hamza signing off